Great. Now let's come onto our side forearm side plank position. So talking about the slings of the body, they run like a X on us. And I feel in any, we all need more side body. I, I mean, I feel it on myself. Any SI joint issue, I feel I can remedy at this point with my side body being strong. So elbow underneath my shoulder. We don't want to be too far away or too close. And then you're going to turn, if you can, turn your forearm out. This is a healthy rotator cuff. If you're just 45 degrees, that's fine. We're going to draw that arm bone again back into the shoulder and the shoulder down the back, like our push-up in the very beginning. Sits bones back, kidneys back, lift your pelvis up. That is, you know, and you can lower that back down, lift it back up. The, the, the stronger you are, the more you can hold it. Not that that's a goal, but... You just can make it a little, little more deliberate rather than just having to lower it down. So you're going to put, pick it back up. Look at that left elbow and see if you can turn that left hand a little bit more over behind you. Sliding your shoulder down the back, the elbow pulls towards your pelvis, but is not really moving. Now turn your head, look up to the ceiling. Move it away from your elbow. Keep your diaphragm back and then lower your pelvis down. 